All right, here we are, another Grace Prayers, and today we're specifically praying for the situation that is going on in Ukraine, we're praying for the Ukrainian people, the Russian people as well, we're praying for peace, and I get to pray with a uh, good friend of mine, a worship leader, a lover of Jesus, someone who's praying, uh, praying all the time, she's got teenage kids, so she's always praying, and I think she's joining us for our in her uh, prayer closet, isn't that right? <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Karina, it's good to have you. Thank you for praying with us today. First, we're going to be praying for peace, of course. Mm. Praying for peace in Ukraine, even Russia. Jeremiah 29, verse 7. Seek the welfare of the city, for I have sent you into exile, and pray to the Lord on its behalf for its welfare. You have welfare. Have, they would have peace. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that you would bring forth peace in that region, in Russia and Ukraine. Father, you are the Prince of Peace, and so we trust you. We commit this region to you, and we ask in the name of Jesus that you would tenderize hearts, that you would move by your spirit, that you would cause peace to flow that you would cause your name to be exalted and that you would reign as the prince of peace in ukraine and in russia in jesus name yes god yes god thank you that you are jehovah shalom yeah jehovah shalom you are the prince of peace you are the prince of peace Thank you, God. We declare and decree your peace you. over this situation in Russia and Ukrainian borders, Lord. Yes. Lord, we pray for your intervention. We pray for your angels to come down and work mm. the way you want it to work, God. Yes. We release your plan. Yes. We release whatever you have planned for this situation yes. to happen. Yes, yes. God, you are Jehovah Nisi, the banner. Yes. You are the banner. You are mighty warrior. Yes. Lord, nothing go behind the scenes that you do not know. That's right. That's right. So God, we pray for this situation, for this chaos to break off and subsidize and go down. Mm. Go down in the name of Jesus, God. We pray against the death, unnecessary death, God. Yeah. We pray for the spread of your kingdom. We pray that you will have mercy. Have mercy, God, on the innocent people and children and women and elderly, God, who cannot protect themselves right now. God, we pray that you will protect them. Lord, we pray for Ukraine. We pray for Ukraine. Ukraina. Ukraina. Va ime Isusa Christa. Ukraina. We pray for Ukraine, God. We pray for Ukraine, God. Jesus, for Russia. Yeah. We pray that you will oh, quiet down this bear. That's right. This, this yeah. bear that have been awakened yeah. and is thirsty for not righteous things, God. God, we pray that you will just tranquilize this bear. God, we pray that you will just destroyed the plans of the enemy that God that is uses Russia right now for your plan to be done and not the enemy's plan. That's right. That's right. Oh, Jesus. Prince of Peace, bring peace. peace. Do what only you can do. That yes. You would show yourself strong to these nations and to the world that they would know mm -hmm. that only God, only the Prince of Peace can bring peace. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. We're also praying that the Ukrainians would draw near to God and find hope in this uncertain hour. That mm -hmm. They would find hope in you. Out of Ephesians chapter 1 verse 18, I pray that the eyes of your heart might be enlightened so that you might know what is the hope of his calling? What is the riches 
of the glory of his inheritance to the saints. Even now, Father, in such an uncertain time, even now, even now you can bring forth your purpose and your promises. Even now you can show yourself strong to the Christians and those who have been waiting on a breakthrough in Ukraine, even in Russia. Mm -hmm. Father, the mm -hmm. answer the prayer of the praying church in Russia and in Ukraine, Father, I pray that you would sweep through revival in the name of Jesus, that you would stir up hope in the hearts of men and women in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God. Thank you for your waking in, for yes. your waking in and your uh, provocation yes. of the yes. church, yes. God, yes. to stand yes. up, to stand up stand and start up. praying That's right. and start coming against the demonic forces, pulling down the strongholds, God, to plead for your mercy, Jesus. I yes. pray that you provoke the church even more even now, even to more. rise up, to wake up, stand up, to wake up from this. Lumber, yeah. to pick up the sword and the fight, Lord, yes. in the heavenly places like yes. you told us to do, God. Yes. Yes. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, oh God, may the fire to spread, yes. the fire of prayer, the fire of intercessory, mm. God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Call us to our knees, to yes. fight on our knees for those who are lost. Yeah. God, awaken the church. Yes, yes. Oh, provoke us, Lord. Provoke yes. us. Yes. Provoke us to be more diligent in seeking you That's right. and plead before you on the behalf of the nations. That's right. That's right. That's Not right. only Russia and Ukraine, God. We might be peacefully living here in America, but who knows? Mm. We might be in the same situation. So, God, we plead. We plead for yes. your mercy yes. around the world. Jesus. Yes. Yes. Oh, God. Awaken the church in America. Yes, God. Awaken the church all over the world. You said yes. that your church, your house, shall be called a house yes. of prayer for yes. the nations. Yes, God. Before, now, in the name of Jesus, we call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to bring forth his power to the nations. That you would sweep yes, peace God. all over the world. But specifically, even now, even right now, in Russia in Ukraine and all the regions yes, surrounding Lord. Father we pray for peace in the name of Jesus that you would awaken yes. the church the church in the United States the church in Canada yes. Father, the church in England yes. oh Father Jesus. awaken our hearts yes. for peace and to pray yes. and to stand yes. for peace that the Prince of Peace would show himself strong in this hour in the name yes. of Jesus yes God yes God yes Yes, yes. We pray for repentance mm. to sweep, to sweep the earth, God. Repentance, repentance, true repentance yes. before you of any sin, God. In the name of Jesus, God, turn the hearts to you. Turn the minds to you, God. Bring all to you. Yeah. Yes. Almighty. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Yeah. Oh God, when Israel repented, only then, only mm. then you were stopping all the mm. all the oppression from the enemies, mm. God, when yes. they truly repent before you. So I pray for yes. the true repentance. Yes. In yes. Russia and yes. Ukraine, God. Yeah. Open the minds, open the eyes yeah. to realize that there's no life beside you yeah. yes oh jesus bring yes. them to the knees god bring them to their knees god to cry out and seek you and say help us god help us save us lord have mercy we have sinned before you forgive us god forgive us for our pride mm. Forgive us for anything that is not of you. Forgive us for turning our backs on you, God. We repent. We repent. God, we repent on behalf of Russia and Ukraine right now. We repent. Forgive us, God. Forgive us, Lord. We need you, God. We need you, Jesus. Come back. 
come back to our country. Come back and restore the peace. Restore the peace, Lord. Only you, only you, only you can bring peace. Father, I do pray that you would stir the hearts of the kings and turn them your direction. Yes. That you would bring the Here's spirit of God. repentance even to leaders, the nations, that we would turn our heart Here's again God. to God. We pray for Putin in the name of Jesus, that you would move upon his heart, in the name of Jesus, for the leaders in Ukraine, in the name of Jesus, that they would call even call for fasting and prayer and turning hearts to Jesus Christ. We pray for leadership in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And we pray that God would comfort those who are living in fear and maybe even facing loss. From Psalm chapter 23, verse 4, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Matthew 28, verse 20, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded to you. And lo, I will be with you always, even to the end of the age. But we thank you that you are indeed with the people in Russia and Ukraine. Father, I thank you that you have promised that you would never leave them or forsake them. Father, I pray that you would comfort those children that might be living in fear now, in the name of Jesus, that mother rocking their child. People in that region that live in fear, that hear the sirens or hear the missiles and the bombs. Father, I pray that you would sweep over peace in the name of Jesus that they would be comforted by knowing that you will never leave, that you would never forsake them. In Jesus' mm -hmm. name. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. We thank you. Yeah. We thank you, God. Mm -hmm. You are with them. Mm -hmm. Omnipresent God, you are with them. Mm -hmm. You are with them. Remove fear from children. Remove fear. fear, worry, lift anxiety. Lift it, lift it. Great God that you are. Trust 
and you would teach us how to pray at this time. And we know not what to say. You would teach us how to pray. You would teach us how to pray. God, we commit Ukraine to you. Pray for peace and comfort. Mm -hmm. And we thank you, Lord, that you never leave us or forsake us in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. Okay. Karina, thank you for taking my invitation last minute uh, to pray for Ukraine. Um, we certainly need to be leaning on the, the leading of the Holy Spirit in this hour, and I, I really appreciate you for praying with us today. Amen. <laughs> Amen. All right. Thank you guys for joining us. Remember to uh, like, share, and review. This is uh, Grace Prayers. We thank you for joining us. God thank you for listening control. to Grace Prayers. If there's anything specific that you would like to have us pray about, just message us at Derek Marshall online at facebook.com and we will pray for those things that uh, are on your heart. Also, if you missed any of our prayers, go back, listen to all of them. They're on Facebook, YouTube, and also you can find us online at any place that you like to listen to podcasts at Grace Prayers. I'd like to thank Nathan Harmon for the music. It is anointed and wonderful. Thank you for listening to Grace Prayers. <laughs>